moving on to slightly happier subjects to end the show. Yeah. The Liverpool bottle in it. Yeah, they are, bruv. I told you, soft belly dippers, blood. Man, <laughs> man I get the toy, the toy soldiers out, blood. Start dipping. Belly's gone. And I knew it was going to happen. Have you seen as well, like me and Adam were sitting here, these seats on Monday, and I was saying how you're going to start to see excuses. You're going to start to Bro, hear you saw Jamie about... Carragher was like, oh, I told you United squad was better than Liverpool. Shut up. Yeah, that, that, that's coming out. We lack depth. Injuries, referees. I mean, they're, you heard man's blaming grass, snow. Snow, pitching, wind, everything. Wind. Bro, if it wasn't for the officials, yeah, Liverpool wouldn't be in the top four. Because Mo Salah been, been diving for penalties all season. No doubt about that. I, I, what, 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 do you know what I'm, they're doing though, the excuses? And I've started, this is the new one I'm now seeing. Bear Liverpool fans talking about this is the greatest Manchester City team ever, the greatest Premier League team ever, maybe one of the greatest Bro, teams in the world ever. you were 10 points clear of them. Don't, I'm not trying to hear that shit now. Don't yeah. come with that humble shit now. Exactly. Because I had people on Twitter saying, yeah, when it comes home. I said, it's never been home. How many Premier Leagues you won? Shut up. Your name's not on that trophy unless it's underneath. Because man ain't seen it. Do you <laughs> know what I mean? Like, <laughs> them man are chatting shit. That trophy's been in my workplace for 10 years. This is it. Name, I'm so. loving this, bro. Like, I'm trolling these man. I even posted something today. Throwback Thursday, blood. Do you know what I mean? Liverpool just dying. Slippy G, bruv. That's going to be the thumbnail for my latest video today, bruv. That's coming out at 6 o'clock. Steven Gerrard slipping on his ass, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> How do you think they... Are you going to the game at Old Trafford? Yeah, I mean, I'm in a box as well. I'm in a box for that one. Hopefully, I don't need to wear a suit. <laughs> do you know what <laughs> nice. I mean? But yeah, I'm in a box for that one. How uh, do you think they will react if, if United beat them? We're going to roll these, man, you know. Like, it's written in the stars. We're their game in hand. We are where... Like, bruv, we stop runs, bruv. Emodium FC, blood. That's what we do. You, man, are going to get humbled at Old Trafford. That's what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. We're going to end their title challenge. It, it's written, bro. Like, it has to happen. <laughs> Ollie's back. Yeah. United are back. It's happened. Paul Pogba. Master Cl it, 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 bro, be it is written beautiful. in the stars. And with their defensive injuries, our counter-attacking football, like, it's written for us to end them. Why is our game coming around then? Like, why have they bottled it to City and then it's all neck and neck and then we're going to Old Trafford? It's like, yeah, it's going to happen, bro. Like, I feel it. And when we beat them... I'm going to be all of their necks. All of their necks, bro. Do you know what I mean? Because I chat shit anyway. But you see the start of the season that we've had and in the last 10 games, I have so much ammunition from when we were down, you man were kicking us, that I'm making man deactivate Twitter. <laughs> I'm making man block me. I'm making man throw their phone away. Like, all of that. Like, it's going to be relentless, bro. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, we beat Liverpool. Like, we do beat Liverpool. It's that simple. Like, even though they're on a decent run, I haven't seen anything that makes me think, oh, like, we need to be afraid of them. I still respect Man City a lot higher, even though Man City dropped points. Because I believe City at their best and Liverpool at their best. City are a better team. Mm. So, yeah, no, I don't care. I think that we're as good as Liverpool now. I think we're as good as them. I think City are the only team that's two or three players ahead of us. Yeah. But Liverpool... I think man for man, they're no better than. Well, with Liverpool, it's you, you got to look ten games. When you look at what Liverpool have done, you look at Man United. Ten games is a good body of time. Yeah, you know, you're that's a third of a two season. Months. Exactly, you're getting you get into a good body of time to know what Man United are about. And I said to a few of the boys the other day after we when we beat uh, Leicester one 0 it's like we have two or three performances now where we haven't been at our absolute best. But we're grinding out them results and yeah. the likes of Liverpool and City have been praised for that all season when, when they've ground out results so we're, at the moment United are either grabbing results when we may not, may not deserve them or, with, or we've been ripping teams apart and that to me is why I think Man United are getting back to their best it's why Oli needs to get the job full time yeah. and if he gets decent results or decent or doesn't get absolutely embarrassed against PSG and beats the Scousers yeah this man here, Oli oh. Boy, he's 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 getting that job because he's just revived Manchester United. Is it, is it yourself who's is it like Phoenix FC or something? Or someone said that about like reviving them from the ashes. Someone said that, yeah. And I was like, and I saw another tweet today about Liverpool made me last day. It was calling them next year FC. <laughs> it is. It's always the, next it's year. always next year, bro. Yeah, exactly. Do you and know what I mean? And, um... It would just it would be poetic for for him. And I keep saying something about this year. And if it ends up nothing happening, then fair play. But. It's 20 years, ain't it? 20 year anniversary it is. of the treble. It Ollie's is 20 years back. of the treble because we went, me and Flex went up. I don't even know if I should, I'm saying it anyway. Me and Flex went up to Manchester and we were speaking to like Adidas about like 
uh, merchandise in it for the 20th 20 year anniversary so like we were helping them do some market research so yeah this is the year brother and we're gonna gonna do liverpool bruv like i i just feel it you know what i mean i feel it's it's primed beautifully for them not to get us spanking and all the fucking scouse tears man i can't wait uh, do you know what i mean i'm gonna be slipping on them bruv you know what i mean them fucking wet floor and that uh, good old slippy g it's oh it, it will be amazing it will be am and i've triggered them again today because i've coined a little phrase myself um referring to the uh, nabby cater as baby cater because they've got, <laughs> because they've got this they've got this player that's like a fraction of what what, what we saw when he was at leipzig so yeah. I, i've had t-shirts made now that say baby cater on them so oh. they're, they're out they're gonna be in the channel I'm gonna and they were giving soon. us the pogba banter you oh, know my days and i was saying the other day do you know what i love about the, the, the nabby cater thing yeah is they waited a year bro it, the build up to him they were chatting so much shit for a year they're like yeah but wait till cater comes you know what but they're like next year we're getting cater i heard this guy's name for a solid year before he came and and he can't even get into the jordan team. henderson is better and that's it <laughs> jordan henderson is better than nabby cater baby cater he's better than him you, you cannot get away from that the fact that the majority of i guarantee you nabby cater doesn't even start against man united he, he would have started if it was jose's team because we'd have sat back yeah, and they could have pressured yeah, yeah, yeah. but against man united now who are going to dominate the midfield who are going to counter attack you when you come towards us they ain't going to play him. They're going to go. If they're all fit, it's going to be Milner. Um, it's going to be the workman, Genie, Ronaldo, man, and, uh, Henderson. Uh, Henderson. It's going to be gonna the workman with. midfield because, you know, and that's still not going to be enough. No, Pogba's going to rip him. That's what I mean. And then... Herrera's going to be up to usual <laughs> shithousery, bruv. You know what I mean? And the Man United will just do what, what he does, man. And these are the games simple. as well. For the, like we mentioned Rashford earlier about mm. how what he can go on to be. It's these games, these moments. He's got good records against the, the top sides. Against Liverpool and that. He bagged and a couple last season. So, yeah, like I this. think he can do it. Get the win. And do you know what? Man United fans, if we don't win nothing this year, I don't think anyone will cry. But it's these games now. These are where yeah. you want to start. We, we, we've got ourselves back on track. We're winning games. We're happy with the football. It, especially at Old Trafford. It's beating our rivals and not sitting back anymore and looking timid and letting teams... Like, when they beat us in December, no disrespect, but we... Like, they were better than us. I'm not going to deny it. But that was tactics. It was purely the tactics and the way we trained for, for two and a half years that made that happen. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're now seeing a lot of... That's why there was the whole, it's only Cardiff, it's only Huddersfield, it's only whoever. You know, when we started beating Spurs and we started beating Arsenal, that all finished. Because at the end of the day, they know. And the, the, the best thing about what Oli's done is how our rivals are reacting. You can see and smell the fear. Rattled. They are. And yes, okay, you're top right now, joint top. And, so, so, you know, but all of them men are like, oh... But you had an easy run. But, bro, like, over the Christmas, we're the only team with a 100% win record and everyone didn't play hard games. No, exactly. Do you know what I mean? But people still drop points. We didn't. In the last 10 yeah. games, look how many teams have drawn and, and, and lost games in the Premier League across all competitions. Since we last lost the game, I think City have lost three. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, they've at least lost three. Yeah. Liverpool have, have, have drawn two, lost one. They've been knocked out of the FA Cup. Well, there you go. But people are still talking shit about us because, like, they're clutching. That's all it is. We're, this is championship form. This is what this is. And then, like, at the end of the day, nine wins and a yeah. draw, bro. And, and, like, and everything that came before wasn't Ollie's era. It wasn't Ollie's it wasn't. time. It's it's for me. It's wiped off. Like yes, yeah. in the record books, it's there. You beat us, and we were struggling. But this is a new team. It's a new group of people. Bro, if you know. the league started, yeah, when Ollie came, we'd be top of it. Like, oh, without that's all doubt. that matters. Without like what nine wins and a draw. That's all that matters. So when people could talk about all the other shit before, it means nothing to me. It's what we're doing now, isn't it? We're a different team. And I said in one of my fan cams, I wish I could play every one we played with the other guy again so we could right the wrongs. And that's mm. what we're doing. But we'll do that second half of the season and then next year. I'm not going to say next year is our year because that's too scouse, but uh, no. it, we know where we're back, man. 100. 100.